Did you hear? This is too good. What is it? Someone's running against Mayor Soft, the new guy. Marty, what's his name? Otto thought he was just going to coast to victory, but not anymore. <laughs> I'm so glad the drought is over. I was really starting to worry about my bees. Soon they'll cluster up to keep the colony warm. Did you know that bees generate their own heat by vibrating as it gets colder? I always love that fact. I heard Mayor Soft's got some competition this year. Oh, are you thinking of voting for his rival? Huh, fat chats. Temperatures are dropping, but we still got fall crops to get in the ground. After all, planting season's not over, lentil, it's over. Thomas, did you just make a pun? <laughs> I knew that baker was gonna rub off on me if I kept stopping by for croissants.
I have to admit I'm relieved that the kids are back in school. Since Parker and I both work, coordinating childcare during the summer is a nightmare. I will miss their lemonade stand, though. It made them so happy. Hey, Lena. I heard the election is coming up. Oh? Yeah, I suppose it's that time again. I would rather stay out of politics, honestly. But I'll be interested to hear what the new fella has to say. The Book of the Mind includes a beautiful marriage ceremony. I was hoping to perform it for the first time this fall, but I guess Angus couldn't convince Francis to let me officiate. He couldn't even convince Francis not to have their wedding in the woods. I hope you'll consider voting to re-elect Mayor Otto. He's brought so many great things to the community. Like me. <laughs> I'm joking. But seriously, he has been a true supporter of our mission here. Ever since Francis and Angus moved here, Francis has been stressing about this wedding. I'm psyched they're finally going to celebrate their love, but more importantly, I'm psyched that Francis will get part of his life back. The guy has got to stop adding pictures to his wedding mood board. Hey, have you heard Marty's running for mayor? I can't wait to cast my vote. Pfft. Goodbye, Otto's bar tax. You should think about voting for Marty, too. He wants to actually bring this town into the future. Okay, I'll think about it. You don't want this. I'll take it. Oh, thanks for helping Kim build that onsen. Helps me thaw out when I come off the water now. Are you voting in the election, Kai? Of course, brah. Marty wants to build an awesome new gym. Gotta have some place to train when the waves are flat, man. What are you thinking about the election, Sophia? Oh, I don't know. I like Marty. He's nice and seems to have some interesting ideas, but he is pretty new here. Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course, Tara. Ready for your first ever Fair Haven election? Sure. Is there going to be a debate? I guess so. Should be fun. But I think Mayor Soft will come out on top. voting for yet, Tara? I can't decide. Francis is pretty determined to vote for Marty, but Messenger Cameron thinks we should support Otto. Well, who do you like? 
I like not having political arguments at home, for one thing. Because then I get no snuggles. I just want to make baked goods and cuddle. Is that too much to ask for in life? <laughs> out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that you're not used to teleportation. <laughs> so what you doing? I was just watering my crops. By hand? Care wheels and grease, girl. <laughs> just because you're human doesn't mean you have to stick with human tech. <laughs> if you want to learn a more efficient method, swing by my shop anytime. <laughs> See ya! Wait, I hate when you do that. Who are you talking to? Thomas! I was just talking to my... my watering can. I do that sometimes. Why are you here? I was checking to see if your well's working again now that the drought's over. But I can see it is, so I'll be on my way. Wash ashores. Aww, who's a good kitty? The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag.
you heard about the debate coming up? I sure did. I didn't think towns this small had political debates. Oh, trust me. Growing up in Fairhaven taught me that there's no town too small for local election drama. And uh, speaking of drama, <laughs> I have an idea that'll make the debate unforgettable. Oh, this should be good. Let's hear it. Oh, I knew you'd be interested. I don't want to hurt Otto, even though he's hurt my business by doubling liquor taxes. I just think it'd be good for the guy to eat a slice of humble pie, which, if eaten before the debate, will make him cluck like the chicken he is. And you want me to make this humble pie, right? Yeah, but it's a special pie. It's got a potion. I know, dirty man. It was figurative. So, are you in? Why not? It'll be funny. Ah, uh, let's get to work, novice. You'll need bones, some silver essence, and a bake a pumpkin pie. Brew that up and bring me the drop. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> Autumn is the time when the veil between worlds is at its thinnest. Traveling to the gloaming is easier than ever, which means we must recast the glamour over the stone circle. The glamour? I'm sorry, what is that? It's a spell that conceals our circle from prying eyes. Gloria and Giacomo were our best glamour casters. They kept the rest of Fairhaven from getting too close by accident. Now that they're both gone, the task falls to us. The Farseer Adept and I will cast the Glamour, but once we do that, we'll all need to drink a potion that allows us to see through the Glamour and find the Stone Circle. The potions are brewed from the flower of the Hedgehog Grass, which only grows in the gloaming. Two of you will need to go retrieve it. I want to go. Can I? You're still an Acolyte, and Acolytes can't go into the gloaming. Oh, so it's time for you to be promoted. From this day on, you'll be known as Herbalist. And to celebrate, I whipped you up some spirit flame. Here you go, Herbalist. Honorable visitors to your shop know they're dealing with a bona fide certified member of the Fairhaven Coven. Congrats! Grandma would be so proud of you. Novice and Herbalist, the two of you will visit the outskirts of the gloaming and retrieve six hedgehog grass flowers. Adept, you will accompany them. I can't think of better company. When you're ready, speak to me again, and I will place the first keystone in its column. About dang time. Are you ready, novice? As much as I'll ever be. Very well. Novice, herbalist, Adap, follow me to the stone circle. This keystone opens a path between the stone circle and the least dangerous part of the gloaming. I was hoping we could all stay out of the gloaming for decades, but the rate at which magic is flowing from the wellspring means that's not possible. I will keep them safe, I promise. You know, I shouldn't be surprised by all the flashing sparklies at this point. But they are so pretty. Make good decisions, please. I could donate these shiitakes to the wellspring. Or I could prototype some cute mushroom leather boots. The Farseer's advice may seem unclear, but if you really listen, everything he says makes sense in the end. What? What is this? Ah, uh, yes. The barriers. We've never really understood where they come from. They are impervious to everything but pure magic. So, you'll need to blast it with your wand. Blast it? Oh, well, which spell should I use? No spell. Just point and shoot. Okay. Good. Give it a couple more hits. You'll need to watch your magic reserves in future encounters with them. Whoa. This place is amazing! I know, but be on your guard. It's beautiful, 
but dangerous. Like me. Sweet snapdragons! I just saw a vine move. Everything here is alive with power from the wellspring, but they each translate that power differently. We're just looking for a flower, right? Yes, but these ones defend themselves from being picked. That's why they're called hedgehog grass flowers. Hmm, I'm not sure how to get through here yet. Yikes! I think we must be getting close. Just keep blasting them with your wand! Is this it? Yes, now we just need five more. Got it. Good work. Let's get back to the stone. The vines won't attack us as we retreat. We've cowed them into submission. Oh, hold up. I've never seen a plant like this before. I've only heard of them, but I think this is an echo blossom. Whoa. All the petals are covered in crystal. Echo blossoms look normal, but if you grasp the stem, the flower takes a short impression. And if you crack the layer of crystals... Oops! It's so slippery. <sighs> no. No way. <sighs> I hope this works. Echo Blossoms are powerful magic. And my mama said not many of them are left. But if I don't make it out of the gloaming tonight, I want someone to know I was here. And these will be my little breadcrumb trail. Gloria. Is it true, Violet? That was your mom? I... I can't believe I just... Yeah. That was her. So we know she came this way the night she disappeared. It seems so. Violet, are you alright? What a shock to your system. <sighs> oh my god! I saw her! I really saw her! <laughs> yes! We should look for more of these. Are you kidding? I'm not letting a single one get away. I need to know Everything. Well, before we get into the search, we need to get back and speak with a coven about it. Ugh, fine. But then I want to come right back and begin looking. Hey, what do you think of the election, Amira? I think it's better to stay neutral on this. At least, publicly. I am the town doctor, after all. But I do find Mayor Otto's agitations about a neighborhood watch to be unsettling. Perhaps Marty would be more... Tolerant of differences. Six hedgehog grass flowers, just like you asked. Oh, wonderful. Well done, you three. Novice, distill the essence from the flowers in your sanctum, then brew six potions. We have something else to tell you as well. We found an echo blossom in the gloaming, and. And it had an impression of my mom! She was there the night she disappeared! By all the stars of the first witches! I didn't think Echo Blossoms grew there anymore. But if all three of you saw the impression of Gloria, we'll have to look into this. For now, Herbalist, 
Rest up. Oh, honey, what a day you've had. In the meantime, novice, please attend to the Glamour Neutralization Potion. I hope you can have several cauldrons going. This potion takes a while to brew. I'll get to work on them right away. Everyone, I'm sorry. It was my idea to break into Town Hall. I thought so. Nice work. And I helped. I'm sorry, too. Thank you, novice. The town of Fairhaven has had the Keystone since the mine operation shut down. I've been asking for it back, but I can't explain how something belonging to me wound up in the mine. Acolyte, novice, you put us in danger. However, you are also right about something. We've been too cautious towards the gloaming. But we can't afford to be cautious any longer. The Wellspring needs offerings. Hear, hear. <sighs> I was afraid you were going to kick me out of the coven. Of course not. We can't let go of anyone or we'll be too weak to turn the seasons. Also, we're too dang fond of you both. We'll make it up to you. We promise. Thanks, you two. Is it time for bed? 